up guys welcome back to another video if you are new to the channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and go check out our Instagram pages the links are always down in the description I post daily original photos of our life and our animals and everything in between so today as the title suggests we are back with another rat breeding and care video and we acquired quite a few new animals including some little mice so i'm going to show you how we decided to set up our mice what we ended up getting and some of our new animals in our collection but first as you can see we are in front of our new diy rat maternity heirloom rack now we're still waiting on the watering system for this but I did put a few mamas in there. I put one mama in there that had already had babies and she has been doing very well with her babies in there. And then I also did put in a mama that was getting ready to give birth. Unfortunately, she lost the entire litter. I don't know why. Maybe it's time to maybe retire her and she's one of our very good mamas. So I'm thinking about keeping her on as a maternity mother. Um, a maternity mother is a mother that has been very, very good with her past litters that can no longer have her own litters. So you keep her around to nurse maybe litters where the mother is not tending to her own litter um, efficiently and the babies are not thriving. You can pull that litter out and put it with another mama who will take very good care of them. So it is always good to have a few maternity mothers in your collection. We don't have any yet because none of our breeders are retired yet. So this might be our first maternity mama. So because we don't have our watering system for our rack yet, I went to our local pet store and just got these little 16 ounce water bottles that are working out for now. We only have three mamas in the rack. Um, this mama is the one that lost all her babies. So I'm gonna be moving her back into her regular bin with her bin mates here in the next few days. Um, I wanted to give her a chance to kind of recoup and, and stay by herself and relax and I've been giving her some cheese over the last few days. And then this mama is the one that I had moved over that has babies and they just open their eyes. Look at how cute they are. Hi, there's mama. There's all the little babies with their eyes open. They're so stinking cute. Hi, Mama. See? Look, they have their little eyes. Oh, look at that one's like a, like Two Face. Hi, Mama. But yes, they are so stinking cute, and they need a bin change. See, these are really good because the bins are really shallow. So the babies as well as the mama, they don't have to really, doesn't take much effort to get up there and get food and water. So let's start out by showing you some of our new females that I picked up. Hello, pretty thing. Hello. So these are pretty little tan girls and they're still fairly small, not able to breed yet, but these ones are super, super lovable. Look at her. She's so pretty. This one I actually carry around in my pocket. She's become one of my favorites. This other one is not as sociable yet and she has some white and tan colors. They're so pretty. So those are two out of the three we picked up. So I did end up being able to find a third kind of cream tan colored one. Um, and she was a little bit bigger than these other two. And then after having her for about three or four days, I noticed she was getting a plump little belly. And I was like, oh my goodness, she came from the pet store already pregnant. Um, so she actually just had her baby. So I will show you those. All right. So our brand new mama is in here and I'm going to try to be very quiet and not talk while I open this bin because these babies are fresh. Hi mama. I know those are your babies. Okay. 
Okay, I don't wanna stress her out too much, so that's all I'm gonna show for right now. Yes, so, oh my gosh, she had so many. I haven't gotten a chance to count all of them. They are fresh pinkies, and I'm trying not to um, disturb her too much. The first 48 hours are very critical. We want her to nurse those babies. We want her to stimulate them to go to the bathroom and sit on them and keep them warm. So I try to not be so attentive the first 48 hours and let her do her thing. Um, so I'll get some more pictures and video here coming up in the next in the next couple days to a week. They are just fresh little pinkies, so we don't know what colors they are. I'm really hoping for some different colors, and let me explain why. I have become so attached to our rats. I love rats, despite what people think about um, people breeding rats for snake food. Um, we actually do grow quite attached to our rats. Rats are very smart, they're very intelligent, and, and, and they're just fun to keep. Rats are very clean, they're easy. And so I've actually grown quite attached to a few of our rats. And so I decided for, for me, because I love them, that I wanted to start breeding um, a small colony of rats that I could maybe sell locally as pets. And that way it gives me a chance to keep some of them too, because I really, really like them. So, um, uh, oh, actually we did get one more rat too. We, so we got four total. I ended up finding a female albino rat. Um, that had previously given birth and the pet store was going to let go of her. So now we have three total albinos. And then from the albino mamas, we ended up keeping seven of the all black females that carry the albino gene. So I'm going to be looking for an albino male to hopefully go with all of them in the future so we can hopefully have some albino babies. And then because I've decided to breed, I noticed that some of our albino babies the all black ones, they actually have Dumbo ears, which is really exciting. And Dumbo ears are just uh, abnormally large ears that sometimes rats get. It's just a genetic trait that they carry over. And then uh, some of the cream colored ones I've also noticed have, especially that little tiny one that I just got, she has some what look like Dumbo ears. They're a little bit larger, so it's really cute. So I'm hoping with this, this cream mama, we didn't know she was pregnant until we brought her home and then after a few days she started getting a really plump belly, but we are hoping that maybe she'll pop out some different colors. Um, right now we have albinos, we have all white, we have the white hoodeds, we have some all black. Um, our male is all black. Now we have the cream colored ones. So I'm hoping maybe she mated with a different color rat before she came to us and that maybe we'll get some gray ones. I really, really want some of those light gray and dark gray colors. So we'll just have to see what pops out in these babies. I'm kind of interested. I'll have to keep you guys updated over the next couple weeks. All right, so the next animals that I picked up this week, I actually went to one of our local pet stores. We only have um, one pet store chain in our area, and they're not really a chain, they're, they're individually owned stores, but they're the only ones in our area that carry live rats or get any kind of live rat in, live rats into their stores. So what I did is I called all of them and I left my name and my number, so when they got females that were of some colors I was looking for, they gave me a call. Um, so one of the cream ones, um, that little one that I was showing you that I was holding, they, they've been carrying her around the pet store for a few days, so she's pretty chill. When I went in there to pick her up, uh, they had gotten in some female mice, which I guess they never do. A lot of times in the stores, they usually get male mice, but hardly ever female mice. And especially these ones, these ones are fancy mice. They're of different colors. They're not just that normal white color that you would normally see in pet stores. Um, so I kind of, I, I paid for the rat and I went out to the car and I called my husband because he wasn't with me at the time when we discussed it. And we, we decided we were going to get some fancy mice too, not only to sell as pets, but, um, we wanted to have mice on hand just in case we need them for our ball python babies when we do have babies. Um, because sometimes it is easier to start baby ball pythons on a smaller prey item or a mouse hopper. They will take to that more than they will a baby rat. Um, the baby rats, when they're super, super tiny, don't move around a lot to stimulate the ball python to, um, to eat. It doesn't activate that innate instinct that, hey, I'm supposed to eat that. So it's always good to have some different prey items on hand if your baby ball python won't take a rat then you have the option of mice. So we are gonna breed just a small colony of mice. Um, I only got four, and actually, I think two of them are pregnant. They look kind of plump and they're a little big. Um, so let me show you those right now.
Yeah, so I was able to pick up a variety of different colors and mice, breeding mice are a little bit different than rats. And as we kind of go along, uh, maybe I'll do some mice breeding videos in the future as well. Um, but mice you can keep together, um, but you cannot, th there's a little bit of a trick with the males. So we didn't pick up a male um, because we, they were all mixed in with a bunch of different males before we picked them up. And we don't know which male is the father of the pregnant females. And that really matters with mice. You can keep the males with the females, um, but he has to be the father of the offspring. So we're gonna wait till these mothers have babies and the babies are grown up and we've separated out all the males and everything. And then we will introduce a male to our four females. And then because we are, have them in a big enough tub, we should only have to do one tub. We might separate two females into each tub and maybe bounce the male back and forth. I'm not exactly sure yet. We're kind of new to the mice breeding. Um, I've talked to a couple of our local friends and things, and that's kind of what they do to kind of keep a steady flow going. And the mice will just breed like crazy. Um, you don't necessarily have to give them a break like you do rats. Um, and mice typically will only live and produce babies for, okay, not live, but they will only produce babies for about eight to nine months. And they typically only have a lifespan of anywhere from a year to maybe 18 months. There are some mice that will live to be two years, um, but by then they're kind of looking a little bit beat ragged. So typically mice, you can only breed them for about eight months and then lifespan is only about a year, maybe 15 months at the max before you're gonna wanna retire them out. The bin that you're seeing right now, um, I brought them home in these little boxes and I'm glad I put them in a separate bin because they had chewed out of the box already in the five minutes they were in my house. Um, the little bin that I have them in is just a little 15 quart bin that I have some of my smaller ball pythons in and I just did up a bin for them until I could get a bigger bin set up for them. So that is why the bin is so tiny. Um, so the next day I actually switched them over to a bigger bin and mice are fairly easy. I had already had the bedding, I already had the tub, I already had some little boxes for their enclosure. The only thing I had to go get was a different water bottle for them. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how I set up their cage. So just like I do my rats, uh, we put a thin layer of the paper pellets on the bottom for extra absorption. Mice are very, very stinky. They are not as clean as rats. So I wanted to make sure I put a nice layer of those paper pellets. And then we added a nice uh, two inch layer, about one to two inches of aspen on the top of the paper pellets. Now I just drilled a small hole in the side where I attached the water bottle that I used for this tub and I can attach, I can uh, link that in the description below. It was just a generic uh, water bottle, I think a 16 ounce um, from PetSmart that I picked up. I had some leftover uh, cardboard items such as a mac and cheese box. I had tea box that I, that I had just left over that was in the recycle. So I just pulled a bunch of different items out of the recycle bin that were cardboard. Uh, cardboard they like to chew up and shred um, to make nests for their babies as well as hide in. And then I had some leftover paper rolls that I cut up for them to use as tubes. And then every time I change out their bin, I will just add new items in. The bowl, it just has the Missouri rodent food, the same food that I use for my rats. I just added a little bit to their food bowl and then I gave them a little bit of spinach. Uh, that is what the pet store had been giving them as a treat. So I gave them some spinach this particular week and then I put the rats in and they seemed to like it very much. They were very active, checking out their enclosure. They each found a place to hide and most of the rats, they would kind of buddy up and have a buddy in each hide. So that was good. So overall, it was a very simple setup for the rats. It doesn't take anything fancy. Um, now, if you don't have a whole lot of cardboard, you can buy some of the little plastic hides they have in the store so you can easily clean them, which I'll probably end up doing in the future. But for the time being, I had a lot of extra cardboard and I tend to have you know extra little tea boxes and things like that. So I thought those would be, they would like those and they seem to like them very much. Uh, also, my cat Hudson has been looking over them and it's so funny because the cat really enjoys watching the mice kind of interact in their cage and run around and the mice don't seem to care. So I kind of let him just sit there and he guards over the mice during the day. All right, well that is it for today's 
video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of our new pickups. So what did we get in total? We got four new rats. We got the albino and then the several cream colored ones. And then we got the four new mice and we have mice set up now. And so uh, if you have any questions about mice or I will keep you guys updated on our progress. I'm hoping to see mice babies in the next week or two if they are pregnant. They look pretty plump, um, but like I said, I've never bred mice before, so this is a whole new learning experience. So if you've bred mice before and you wanna shoot me some advice, drop a comment down below. It's, I'd really appreciate it. Um, and then I'll keep you guys updated on our new, our new uh, babies that we got in our rack from our cream mama. I think she's cream. She's like a tan cream color. I'm hoping we get some new colors. We'll see. So in about a week, I should have an update for you guys and we'll see what colors we got as they, as they start to get their fur and things. But it was super exciting. So thank you for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. Stay sane. Get out there and make your own footprints. Bye.